Christmas is the time of year when shop owners make most of their money. This year, for too many, the start of the season is passing them by. Husband and wife team Dominic and Priya have closed the doors on their small chain of gift shops in London. Well, we've never felt as anxious as we are feeling right now because we're so close to Christmas and we've ordered so much Christmas stock. Yeah, it's been a bit of a shock uh, entering into a second lockdown, especially at this time of year. They're coping by ramping up their website and appealing to customers to buy online but it doesn't close the gap. We still can't compare to what a normal Christmas would be like. I think we're probably trading at about 1% of what we would be normally. We've been <coughs> in the business for 20 years, mm. almost 20 years, and this, this could end up being the end of us. The kind of things we buy for Christmas, gift items and clothes, are classed as non-essential, and these types of shops are closed. Unlike those selling food and medicines, which remain open, but what about those that sell both? In France, supermarkets have been told not to sell non-essentials and must stop shoppers who try to buy them. In England, shops can interpret the rules their own way. This nationwide chain of carpet shops has designated itself as an essential retailer. Carpet Right said it reviewed the guidelines and decided to remain open because so many of its customers told them they needed their products to complete essential projects. Big chains have lawyers on staff to help make such decisions, an advantage their smaller rivals can't match. The maximum fine is £10,000, which a large chain may well find easier as opposed to a small business. They are sticking to the law, they're not opening, they're seeing these other stores not break the rules, but interpret them in such a way that, that allows them to open. Independent shops have been urged to embrace, click and collect, but many are playing catch-up with online retail. The rules say that items must be purchased online in advance. Priya and Dominic don't understand why they can't simply sell from their doorway to passers-by. We really do rely on uh, passing trade in our shops. Um, there are some people around and uh, it would be really nice if we were able to offer a, a service to them. They hope the government's listening and will help them save Christmas so they can live on for another year. Ty Genreis, Euronews, London.